Hi, I'm Tim, welcome to Govberg, and thanks for logging on. Today, we're looking at the Zenith Pilot Doublematic, a world-time El Primero caliber featuring an on-off alarm with power reserve. This immensely complex pilot's reference can be seen on our website, Govberg Watches. And if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to our app, Govberg On Time, for the latest news, views, and reviews of luxury watches. Now, on my wrist, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, this is a full-sized modern watch, far thicker and more complicated than any of the mid-century Pilot's Watch classic models. This is a very imaginative take on the Pilot's Watch genre, including a number of features that perhaps could be called the ultimate travel watch features for world wanderers rather than strictly a pilot's instrument. Now on my wrist, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, the 45 millimeter case certainly makes itself seen and felt. Now it's fairly compact from lug to lug, measuring 53 millimeters from extremity to extremity. It wears roughly like a 42 millimeter Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Offshore, or perhaps a 45 millimeter Omega Seamaster Planet Ocean. Now it is quite thick, 17 0.5 millimeters. This is not one that's going to slide under any kind of tight cuff or sleeve. However, the watch does have versatility such that it can be worn with semi-formal attire just as easily as it can in a sporting and casual milieu. Now the watch is very substantial on the wrist. The heft of that watch is impressive. The thickness of the beautiful brown Rectangular scale alligator leather strap is impressive, and this is a bit of an upscale touch for a pilot style watch, in as much as those are generally equipped with calf skin. Alligator, more expensive, more durable, upscale, and premium, is here employed with a beautiful aviator style contrasting white stitch. Now, in modern Zenith fashion, it is rubber coated on the back. Instead of using calf skin on the bottom, rubber is used to isolate the strap from moisture, grit, oils on the wrist to prolong that beautiful alligator leather on the top. Now the clasp is very much like the twin trigger double deployant used on other Zenith models with a little bit of extra refinement. Now it keeps a beautiful low profile, so when it's buckled, it does have the look of a vintage pin buckle, but it has one wrinkle that I really enjoy. It has a satin finished buckle top to contrast with the polished elements. A little detail that lets you know Zenith is really sweating the details here. And the dial has detail. This is one of the most complex watches offered by Zenith below the grand complication level. You have a double digit grand date with quick set function. You have a power reserve specifically for the alarm function. You have an on-off indicator for the alarm actuated by push button at the pusher at 8 o'clock. You can see the bell alternating between red and green, and you can see the alarm power reserve in action as the function discharges. Now the red-tipped skeletonized hand is used for setting the alarm, and this crown at 10 o'clock is used for setting the reference city at the index at 6 o'clock. So here you can see we're approaching 10.30. Likewise, you can see New York being my reference city. I'm in Miami. I look at the hour that's just passed. Turning counterclockwise, I see 10. I see 10, I read the time off the minutes hand, and you can see that I have New York time set at the center of the watch, and I can read any of the 24 principal time zones simultaneously at any time with day-night distinction courtesy of the counterclockwise rotating 24-hour reference ring. It's a lot of information, but it's beautifully and easy, easily displayed once you get used to it. Now, of course, we haven't even trotted out the traditional strength of every El Primero caliber, which is the in-house column wheel chronograph movement. Still beating away at 36,000 vibrations per hour, this brings all of the virtues of the 52-hour power reserve integrated high beat El Primero Chronograph, a classic since 1969. It's shown up in everything from Zenith Grand Complications to the Rolex Daytona, and it has a peerless pedigree. You can see this 41 joule variant of the movement with 439 parts, alarm, world time, and of course a power reserve for the alarm. All the traditional Zenith styling features are here. You do have linear Cote de Genève across the partially skeletonized winding rotor, a 52 hour power reserve courtesy of one large mainspring barrel. Now there is the balance beating away at 
5 hertz or 36,000 vibrations per hour, 10 beats per second. You can see the graining of all the wheels is beautiful, as is the straight graining of the regulator on the balance cock. You can see perlage across the bridges. A little bit unusual, this is a treatment generally used on main plates of most movements from most manufacturers. Zenith is a little bit different. Likewise, you can see both polished and blued screws. Those polished screws used for assembly, those blued screws are cues to the watchmaker that these are the screws used for adjustment of the caliber itself. And of course, when you do wind the watch back up using the crown at 8 o'clock, that power reserve does once again recharge itself, and it's a beautiful feature to see, quite imaginative in its function. As you actually charge the power reserve, the power reserve indicator, just as it rotates when discharging, rotates when recharging, and eventually transforms from red to green as the power reserve is topped off. It's a dynamic touch that complements and completes a beautifully complex, value-packed chronograph model. This is the Zenith Double Mat Pilot Double Matic featuring El Primero World Time Alarm Caliber, available on our website, govbergwatches.com.